Hey guys, it's Brian Mounts from TurfMechanic.com and the Turf Mechanic YouTube channel. I've talked a little bit about soil temperatures over the past few weeks in a number of videos, but today I want to focus squarely on it. Today is the 26th of October, and here where I live, we had a very cold weekend. I mean, we're not talking a crisp fall, we're talking winter weather. Now, we didn't get snow, but uh, just to give you an idea, this morning, this morning, I woke up and came out to let the dogs out at about 7.30-ish or so in the morning, and it was 18 degrees. 18! This weekend, you know, Saturday and Sunday, my family and I, we traveled to Bend, Oregon, which is about two hours away from us, and it was even colder up there on Sunday. I bowled in a bowling tournament. Some of my subscribers know that I am a bowler. Had a pretty good weekend up there. Um... Took fourth place in the local tournament. Here, my cat's just sticking his butt in my face. Uh, but it was colder up there than it was here. So, of course, I was wondering when I got back, what's the soil temperature like? That's what a nerd I am. So, this morning I came out. After I let the dogs out, 18 degrees outside, I took a look at the soil thermometer, and it was about 39 degrees. So, that is, in my opinion, colder than... The grass is going to grow at 39 degrees. But here's the thing. That is the coldest part of the day, uh, right at sunup. And soil temperatures are, they're a moving target. They are different at different times of the day, which is why when lawn and garden enthusiasts like myself, when we talk about soil temperatures in the garden, there are some plants that if the, if the temperature gets low enough, things will just simply die. But with grass, we're talking about average soil temperatures. It has nothing to do with like the low. I mean, unless you're getting, you know, into enormously negative temperatures um, that will literally kill the grass. Usually, as winter comes, the soil temperatures drop and the green foliage on top goes dormant. And all of the energy is stored below ground in the root systems of these grass plants. Um, but the average soil temperature is what matters to top growth. Uh, assuming that the grass is well watered and uh, not stressed out by any other factor, the average soil temperature matters. So here, now it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And what uh, the sun has been out, we got clear blue skies. So the sun has been beating down in my thermometer here and warming up the soil underneath for what is that now since about 7 30 in the morning you're looking at about eight hours and although outside temperatures are only in the low 50s my soil temperature has also increased to the low 50s right now i've got it registering at about 53 degrees which is probably right in line with the actual air temperature right now now tomorrow it's supposed to be pushing 60 outside and our overnight lows are only going to be in the low 30s and every day for the next week or so, it's going to be slightly warmer during the day and slightly warmer at night. So pushing all the way into November, we're going to be getting mid-60s during the day and low 40s at night, which means these soil temperatures are going to continue to average in the upper 40s, and they might get back into the low 50s, which means grass is going to continue to grow. And that makes me happy. So I just want you to understand the difference between a spot check on your soil temperatures. And uh, I use a compost, like a long-stemmed compost thermometer for my spot checks. I know lots of people really like digital instant read thermometers, but I really just like those. They only measure the, the tip, which is in the ground, uh, just a couple inches off of the tip that's that you just plunge into the ground. That's the only part that's measured. So even if the sun beats on this part, for hours and hours it's still taking the temperature down in the soil itself and if you can average that out throughout the day you'll get a better idea of what your soil temperature actually is so even though my soil temperature was 39 early this morning the average temperature has been in the mid to upper 40s and it's going to continue to climb over the next week which means tomorrow I'm going to be busting out the leaf blower, cleaning up the lawn, hitting it with the mower, and then I'm going to be putting down another round of nitrogen fertilizer, and I'm not even going to call that my winterizer. I'm going to plan on winterizing a little bit later in the month of November. 
Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Please hit the like and the subscribe button if you like this video and you'd like to subscribe for more.